Good morning. I learned that many parents struggle, but despite the mistakes they've made, they want the best for their children. That's what Khalil's mom said in a recent interview about why she enrolled her children into the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. She had been incarcerated and did not want that for Khalil, his two brothers, or his sister. When I joined Big Brothers Big Sisters, I never knew how much being matched to Khalil would change his life or mine. And my life has been quite a whirlwind lately. I recently changed jobs, got married, and am finishing my MBA at SMU. Though it can be overwhelming at times, I think about all the distractions Khalil faces every day, and despite his challenges, he's able to maintain such a positive, great attitude, and it's quite contagious. I also know I must be there for him as one of his few constants and teach him the value of hard work. But to be quite honest, I'm not sure Khalil really understands how much I cherish and value our friendship. I'm proud of Khalil. He's a hard worker with a big personality who never meets a stranger. He's the kind of little brother anyone would be proud to have. Jock has been my big brother for over four years now. It really does matter to me that I have him there to talk to me whenever, and even though I know that he's busy. I'll be a junior next year in high school. Jock tells me that if I work hard, I can be successful and do anything that I want to do. My mom says that she wants the best for me and that if I, I have to stay on the right track so that I can be successful. I want to make her proud, and I also want to make Jock proud. I love to sing, write songs, play football, basketball, and I love going to church. Each of those things take commitment. Jock has taught me a lot about what, you, like, what you're doing and putting hard work, whether it's practice or homework. I would like to go to college, great schools like UTA, TCU, and great schools like Harvard, which is like on my top right there. <laughs> <laughs> I also... I also want to do something that involves helping people because I love helping people and inspiring people to do things that are right. So that's one of the other things I like to do. I'm so glad to have Jock there to encourage me. It makes me feel good about myself. I am also a lot different from when I was before Big Brothers Big Sisters matched me with Jock. I was once a little shy and embarrassed to speak up. Now I love meeting new people. I attended the Junior National Young Leadership Conference held in Washington, D.C. of 08. And it was um, kind of like a little leadership conference where I gained my leadership skills and we got to go different places. We went to the White House and got to see the president, how everything worked. And we didn't get to meet the president, but we saw his motorcade <laughs> drive through. And, but it was pretty cool. So. Um, after I got back from D.C., I was one of several kids chosen to go, but I was the only one who could afford, like, to raise money to go. So I got back and I went to the Dallas City Hall and spoke among the Dallas City Council and asked them if they would pay for the seven other kids who didn't get to go to pay for them to go. So after I spoke to the Dallas City Council, those kids who didn't get to go got to go the next year. So now if you go to City Hall and ask anybody, hello, do you know Khalil Cofield? <laughs> they'll, they'll know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> There are a lot of people pulling for me. My mom, my two brothers, my sister, and my grandma who takes care of all of us. And my godfather, Mayor Dwayne Carraway, who should have been here today. <laughs> he should have been here, but he, he has a lot of meetings to go to today, so that's why he's not here. But that, and also my big brother, Jock, right here, who has a big place in my heart, so. And that's the end of my speech, and. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything else to say, so. <laughs> what Khalil failed to mention was that uh, 
City Hall did like him so much, he's now on his third summer as a, as a paid intern and has to go back at the end. So <laughs> he, uh, he's made quite an impact over there.